Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to be discussing a project I've started recently, which is a resistor reference box. I'm in the process of receiving all the parts needed and so far I got the most important, uh, which were kindly offered as free samples by the uh, Vichy Precision Group. These are three resistors from their uh, top of the line VHP100 series. So the uh, VHP100 series resistors are one of the most stable resistors that you can buy. In fact, they are so stable they had to define their stability over the entire range instead of defining it per degree Celsius like it's usually done. So a resistor from the VHP100 series will have a stability of 60 ppm over the entire range of minus 55 up to plus 125 degrees Celsius. So they're ultra stable in relation to the temperature and other factors. These are not affected by humidity either because they are hermetically sealed inside these metal cans. You can order them with pretty much any value because they will custom made these. These resistors are so special that even with these uh, great specs, they are put through additional post manufacturing operations like temperature cycling, short time overload, and accelerated load. Um, this is to enhance their performance even more. I think you get the point. These are the duck's guts in the resistor world. So taking a closer look at these uh, three resistors that I received, we can see that each one has a unique serial number which is written on the top of the can. And I would assume this uh, serial number is tracked through their production line. In my case, the guys from Vichy were also nice enough to uh, measure these with a uh, seven-digit calibrated multimeter at their facility, and they have sent me the results of the measurements. So, like I mentioned in the start of the video, I'm planning on building a resistor reference box using these resistors. I'm still waiting for the uh, aluminum enclosure to be delivered, so I can't start the assembly yet but I can show you the uh, connectors I plan to use. These are uh, four millimeter uh, gold plated connectors manufactured in uh, Germany by Hirschmann. They are made uh, out of brass with a gold, gold plated finish and they have a 3.5 milliohm contact resistance. Well, these are not the uh, duck's guts in terms of um, connectors but they are good connectors nonetheless. There are better ones out there, which are made from a uh, tellurium copper alloy, but they were quite expensive and uh, I needed a bunch of them for this project, so it wasn't an economical solution to get those. For these uh, Hirschman connectors, I paid $32 for this set of 10 pieces, shipping excluded, but I think they'll, they'll do the job just fine. What do you think? Let me know in the uh, comment section below. Now, regarding the assembly of the box, I plan to use some uh, rigid 1mm silver copper wire that will run between the uh, 4mm connectors and um, I plan to have the uh, resistors soldered between the rigid tracks of silver wire. I don't like the idea of soldering these uh, resistors because the uh, uh, thermal shock uh, applied to them will likely mess with the stability short term at least and with the absolute value but I'm thinking I could minimize the effect by soldering further away from the body of the uh, resistor towards the end and also by adding some kind of uh, heat sink to the body of the resistor or to the leads or maybe I could uh, submerge the entire resistor in some um, small uh, can of isopropyl alcohol while soldering I'm thinking that could help uh, keep the heat away from the, the resistor inside. I would also be doing my best to try and heat the resistors for a short time and at a lower temperature by using leaded solder. Now I don't think I can construct this box in a reliable way without soldering. I'm thinking any type of uh, crimping might be problematic over time. In any case, I would need to measure and calibrate the box after it's finished because the uh, absolute values that were measured uh, by Vichy uh, might change slightly after I'm uh, working and soldering on these uh, resistors. But what I'm uh, most concerned is not the absolute value because that can be measured and calibrated later. 
I'm uh, most concerned about the stability long term. I don't want to affect their stability. So if you can give me some hints, if you have a different idea about assembling this uh, box with the resistors, please leave a comment below. If I get this built correctly with the performance of these resistors, once the box is finished and calibrated, it should be good for life. Because I would only be using it in the lab, uh, which regarding the temperature uh, varies from 20 degrees maybe in the winter up to 30 degrees in the summer. So that's only a delta of 10 degrees Celsius maximum. The construction video will follow soon after I receive the aluminum enclosure. Until then, that was all I had to say. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the small be bell icon to be notified of new uploads. I'll see you next week.